All right, this is where utility power comes in from the school, from these lines. As you can see, exposed 240 lines bring the power into the school. Typical for uh, India, but not quite uh, up to American standards. Again, looks like exposed 240 lines here. Splice in. Wrap around the rebar and this appears to be the power line that goes back to the utility meter and feeds the school. Another power line seems to shoot off over in this direction. This is a solar array for the school. Solar array is a um, series strings of five panels and the string alternates. So this would be the panel one in the string, panel one, string one, panel two, string one, panel three, string one, Whereas this would be panel one, string two. Panel two, string two. And you skip a panel, panel three, string two. So on in this manner. So there's eight strings of five. And there are four rows of 10 solar modules each. the back of the solar array. Solar wire here, but some of the other wires are just protected in what appears to be loom. Again, this is an, a wire that's been spliced into the solar junction box. It doesn't appear to be the USC2 solar wire, but it's protected only by this loom. It comes down to the combiner box. So each array is terminated with a fuse. And in this particular configuration they fused both the positive lines and negative lines. And there is also an extra space for a fifth row if needed. So there's two empty MC connectors here and there are four MC connectors, uh, plus and minus, one for each row of solar panels. The, the two strings within the solar array, the two strings of five, are actually combined within the loom. There's one, <clears throat> after each individually fused string, there's one main breaker for the combiner box that appears to be rated at 63 amps. And it comes back through heavier gauge wire, positive and negative. This goes to the charge controller. Again, loom only protects it as it comes down into the concrete block and then is fed through conduit into the school. Okay, this is a little tour of the battery bank system in Rampur at the Symbiosis School. Solar power comes through this line here into the charge controller. Charge controller inputs are labeled PV and battery, positive and negative. The charge controller regulates charge on the, uh, the charging of the battery bank. Lines come down. Through here, there's a charging line. And a uh, battery power out line that will go to the back of the inverter. 
here. And this is the battery bank. It's a 96 volt battery bank. So this is a string of batteries here. Comes down and connects to there. All these batteries form a 96 volt potential. This is a power inverter that powers the school. Okay. The battery bank is protected by this 63 amp DC breaker. There is an input line so the batteries can be charged from mains power. And there is an output line. So the output line will take the battery power and send it out to the breaker panel of the school. The mains line input is also protected with a 50 amp fuse. So this is the energy storage system for the Rampore School. Battery bank is in a room that's ventilated by two windows and two fans. All right, this is the meter for the school. This is the uh, utility meter, which feeds this main brick panel. And there's two lines that come out. I assume this is power line that will uh, that would charge the batteries in case of a, a day without solar or when the batteries are low and they need grid power to charge. These two lines uh, appear to be attached to a terminal called gen so generator so I think these would go to the um, the output of the inverter. So they're feeding the AC power generated by the solar array into this generator terminal. Then there's a load terminal. And so the load line comes out of this automatic transfer switch. And I imagine this switch will trigger the transfer from grid power to solar panel to solar power to the loads of the school. And so they have pretty light loads, just fans and some lighting. Okay, so when this switch, just did an experiment here, when this switch is in the on position, grid power is being supplied to the school and there will be a flashing light on what appears to be the uh, LED indicating calibrate. If I switch this from the on position to the off, so grid power should be off now, we should be running the school on solar power. We'll see the LED stops blinking. This conduit here brings down a thick, heavy black line. This is the utility input power. If we look here, these red lines that come out I see some exposed wire here. And the mains input to the solar breaker panel, or to the to the school breaker panel, which is interfaced to the uh, solar system with this automatic transfer switch. <laughs> 